<laughs> All right, guys. Um, so I did a blog post that this is actually a, a video for. If you haven't checked that out, you can go to chujitsu.net and look at the uh, post. It's also uh, in the show notes or video notes below. Um, so one of the things that I had a lot of problems with early on, especially from blue belt to purple belt level, was triangles. Um, that was kind of hard hit for a while, but I started drilling them, then eventually, you know, kind of worked out the kinks, and I haven't been actually triangle in a competition since I was a purple belt. So I'm going to show a couple uh, techniques that I use to stay out of a triangle and escape out of a triangle if I do get caught. Again, these aren't the only three techniques or whatever that you need to know, but they are three techniques that I use and that my students use with a lot of success. So you can lay down, brother. All right, so the first thing first, a lot of times I see people, and, and the thing that I, I used to have trouble with is as soon as someone would lock a triangle up, I would almost freeze up and kind of freak out for a second, and then I, would, I wouldn't react in the right way, and it was, it was able to, when I would freeze, it would sort of make me, later Ryan, uh, <laughs> uh, when uh, I would, I got to say goodbye to my students, he's going to walk out the door, I can't be like, oh, I'm doing a video. Um, so, but I would get into the position, and when I freeze, right, that, get, that allows him to lock it up and get worse. So, uh, one of the drills that you should, if you're having trouble getting triangled, is making sure that you train your body to have the reaction of shooting up and getting your head up as soon as you feel that leg drape across the back of your neck. And it's important, if you don't do this currently, to start training yourself when you're inside of someone's guard to have active feet so that you drive up and you can get a little bit more power out of those toes than you can if you're just flat, flat legs like that. So, first drill... Heck, you and your partner can drill this on an open mat or whatever. So he throws a triangle up. So he throws a triangle up. Go ahead. Boom. So you throw it up, right? Throw it up. And then I want you guys to shoot up from here. Now, we may, he may still have his arms, his legs locked, but by then we should usually, we're usually able to pull, push the arm through, or go and lock it up again. Or we're usually high enough that we can pull this arm out and start to work a double under. So look at it again. So again, as soon as we're here, head goes up. And like I said, you might be able to pull right out of it, or you might disengage the lock completely, okay? So again, training your body to shoot up instead of freeze up and go downward, okay? The second thing, so let's say he does get to that position, we get our head up, but it's still locked. A simple defense early on, if this is key specific, is gonna to be to take the hip here, okay? So one thing that you don't want to happen, I don't want the arm to crawl, go across because that's going to cause that shoulder to push into my artery, cools off the circulation. So my hands, I'm going to come in tight, keeping my elbow forced out, and I'm going to grab both hands on this hip. I'm going to arch my back, extend my hips, and drive up. Now, from here, guys, you can go double under style passing. We can reach across if you want to, disengage and start working your stand passing. Whatever you want to do, you can do from that position. So again, he locks it up. Boom, head comes up, but we're still locked in the position. Pull the elbows back, make sure they're tight, okay? Gripping the hip here, we're gonna arch our back, push, and just like that. And then again, uh, go to the preferred place that you wanna pass, whether that's down low, standing, or whatever. Uh, last one, so when you get stuck in a bad triangle, we're actually gonna stack the person up and do a, a couple grips to get out of this position. So. This is probably my favorite actual triangle escape. So he gets it. Now, I'm about a beat away right now, and I hope the camera picks this up. I'm about a beat away from getting submitted. So first things first, I want to make sure that I keep my elbow out, because if this arm goes across, I'm cooked. It's done. Okay? So make sure that we keep the elbow forced out. We're keeping our hands here. This hand I'll use to assist, kind of keep the arms out. If he starts grabbing my head, I will use this hand to push it off. When I am ready, the arm that is inside of the lock, I'm gonna make a fist and place all of my weight right here. Notice, I'm not doing a straight grip, I'm going across, okay? And the whole time I'm moving around here in just a second, I'm gonna maintain a lot of weight on the fist. You can use a hand, but I get, a, but I get about an extra inch by placing my fist. This hand is gonna reach across and cup the hip, okay? So this way, what happens is he can't move. He can't arm bar me, he can't adjust his head. If I go to this side, he can turn around and just arm bar me, bad news. Now, I am going to take a big step, because a lot of times if you try to walk, the guy will push away from you. Okay, and we're stuck here. So take a big step, drop it in the chest. Okay, from here, I'm gonna maintain weight on this fist and try to get my head up. I can use this hand at this point to try to push off. Now notice right here, 
my arm's caught, so I need to be careful because I don't want to get in a pot here. So I need to pull out, and I can try to work for the pass there. Now, it's important at the end, when I have my knee here on his chest, I don't want to raise up and lose the weight on this fist. I'll show you. So he gets me in a triangle. If I go across here, right, and I try to raise up, he can go right back to the same position, and now we're back to square one. So when you get your weight all the weight on your fist, grab the hip, big step. Drop the knee in the chest here. Not like knee him in the face, just dropping and putting our weight here. But making sure we lean so that all of his weight right now is on his back and his, his neck. Head goes up. We can use this hand to push. And my knee, if you can see right here, is keeping his hips tight. Okay, this is why I can take my hand off the hip here. Because when my knee comes in to pinch, I can use his hand to pull. And again, as soon as the legs break, march out and work for your pass. Okay, so just a couple things you can do to get out of a triangle if you have to, to get in there. So again, it starts early. Make sure that as soon as you get someone locking their legs around your neck for a triangle, head needs to go up, you need to arch your back, get, get high, okay? Early on, you can pull the hip off. If not, you can uh, do the stack there. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, all right, good.